This conference will now be recorded. Oh, sorry, it's recording. So we're going to come on to our mat. Uh, we're going to come down to sitting position all the way down to the floor. And to your knees, I want you to sit up nice and tall. And we're going to just kind of turn and look to the right. Dropping the right ear to the right shoulder. I want you to relax the shoulders. Stomach is in. Back is straight. Roll your head to the center. Bring your chin down toward your chest. And then coming all the way up, chin parallel to the floor. Now we're going to turn with left. Bring your chin to the left shoulder. Dropping the left ear to the left shoulder. Feeling a stretch to the right side of your neck. Rolling your head to the center, bringing your chin down to your chest, and then coming all the way up center. I want you to inhale, arms coming up at the top. I want you to hold to the top, really extending through the spine, reaching through the arms. And release. Bring those arms behind your back. Interlock your fingers and press those arms back. Stretching through the shoulders, the chest, and make sure you're still breathing. And release. Right hand to the floor, left arm comes straight up and just lean slightly to the right. Feeling the stretch down the left side. We're going to release. And switch, left hand on the floor, right arm up, and then lean to the left. Feel that stretch down the right side. And then release. We're gonna come to all fours, come to your hands and to your knees. Your hands are open, um, flat to the floor, fingers are open, I want you to line your wrists up underneath your shoulders. Your knees are hip width apart. Knees are underneath your hips. We're going to come to a cat's pose. I want you to think about scooping in your abs. And I want you to drop your head between your arms. Bringing your belly button towards your spine and the spine toward the sky. We're going to release out of this to a cow's pose. Head up, glutes up, and think about dropping your belly button to the floor. You're going to feel that stretch in your stomach. We're going to come back up to cat. And release into a cow's pose. Inhale back up to cat, warming the core muscle. And exhale into cow's pose, your core muscle, your stomach, your lower back. And I want you to flatten your back, straighten your back. We're going to take the right arm, reach out in front of you, and then I want you to raise the left leg. So your right arm, left leg is raised, head and neck stays in a neutral position, looking down to the floor, making the arm and leg Parallel to the floor as well, strengthening through the core, strength and balance. We're going to release and we're going to switch this. Right leg, left arm up, same thing. Arm and leg, same. Parallel to the floor, reaching through your fingers, reaching through the foot. And we're going to release. I want you to sit back to your feet, glutes to your heels, sitting on those knees. I want the top of your feet to the floor. Feel that stretch a little bit in the front of your top of your foot. We're going to come up to your knees. Knees are hip width apart. I want you to inhale, arms up, pull to the top, stretching tall. And release those arms behind you. Interlock those fingers, 
Press those arms back and again, stretching through the shoulders and through the chest. And then release. I want you to take your right hand down to the floor, extend out your left foot. So you're turning and blocking your left foot to the side. Right wrist is to the floor, left arm comes up. This is a T stand. I want you to think about a balance and beam that's underneath your right wrist, right knee, and left foot. Make sure you're still breathing. Extend through the arm, the left arm reaching high to the sky. Your level one will stay here. Level two, you're gonna raise up your left leg. Making your left leg parallel to the floor. This is gonna engage into the floor for strength and balance, engaging into the hip as well. Bring the left arm over your head. Keeping your chest open, shoulders stacked, reaching through the arm and through the leg. We're gonna release and come to the center. I want you to take your knees out wide and I want you to sink your hips down. Reach your arms out in front and drop your head, chest, forehead to the floor for an extended child's pose. At any time, if you need a break, this is where you'll come. A little pause if you need a break, you can come here. All right, we're going to release, coming back up. Bringing those knees back underneath those hips, coming back up to our knees. I want you to take your right hand to your right heel, leaning back and lifting up your left arm. Stretching down, you can feel that stretch all the way down that left hip. Now drop your left arm down and raise your head up. Inhale, get that breath in at the top. And exhale. We're gonna do the other side. Left hand to the left heel. Right arm coming up. Dropping the right hand back down, head back up. Inhale, arms coming up to the top, pull to the top. And release, halfway, arms parallel to the floor. We're gonna bring the right arm in front, left hand comes to the front forearm of the right arm. Pull that left hand in, bringing the right arm closer in toward the chest, feeling that stretch in the shoulder. Open those arms back up. Arms parallel to the floor. Bring the left arm in front. Right hand comes over and the left. Forearm pulls in toward the chest. And release those arms back out. Let's do a tricep stretch. Bring in the right arm behind your head, pulling that right elbow in. So let's stretch through the right tricep. Release back down, inhale back up. Let's do the other side. Left hand behind your head, right hand pulls on that left elbow, stretching through the left tricep. And release. Now I want you to take your left hand down to the floor, taking out your right, Foot, walking it to the side. Left arm coming up, looking up toward the right fingers for that T stand. Remember to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Your level one will stay here. Keeping the right foot to the floor. 
Level two, if you like, raising up the right leg, engaging into the hip, engaging into the core for strength and balance. Keeping your right leg lifted, bring the right arm over your head, arm here, keeping that right foot down to the floor for level one, that's fine. So just bring the right arm over your head, extending the arm fully, keeping the chest open, shoulders as if they are stacked. Bring a release, arm and leg, come back to the center. Once you take those knees out wide, sink those hips down between those feet, extend those arms out in front, and extend it child's pose. And we're gonna release and come up to all fours. I'm gonna flip and turn the side here. So you're on all fours. We're gonna to come to a downward dog. I want you to curl the toes under behind you. Raising the hips, the glutes up. And then I want you to think about making a V with your body. Bringing your glutes up high to the sky. Letting your head hang between your arms. Pressing your heels to the floor. Letting your head Hang between your arms. You're going to feel that stretch in the back of those legs and are only warming up right here. So your heels may not touch the floor just yet. And that's perfectly fine. But I want you to think about your breathing. Deep cleansing breath. Now we're going to walk up, bringing our feet up to our hands. Your level one, you're going to reach for your shins. Level two, you can go toward your ankles, your toes, or the floor. What we're doing here is making sure that both of your legs are straight. You're moving from your hips. So we want to stretch in the back of those legs. Relax the shoulders. Relax your head and your neck. And make sure you're breathing. In through the nose. And exhale out of the mouth. Now we're going to wake up through the spine. I want you to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bringing that belly button in. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Inhaling arms coming up to the top. And exhale in your prayer. Bring your hands to your chest, palms together, elbows out wide. We're going to inhale, bring your hips forward, lean back just slightly. Just feel that stretch, mountain pose here. And we're going to release palm fold back in to a down fold. Now I want you to grab a hold of your elbows, right hand. To your left elbow, left hand to your right elbow. Diagonal, letting your head hang between your arms. Just kind of rolling side to side. We're going to come back, drop your hands to the floor. Once you bend both knees, we're going to step one foot back at a time into plank. So this is like a push up. Position. Level one, you'll drop to your knees. If you're level one, your glutes are not up here. Lower those glutes down. Core is tight. Level one is on your knees. Level two, you're on your toes. Your level, your work, listen to your body. Core is tight. We're going to lower the body down. Level one and two. Keep the elbows by your sides. Lowering down. And then you're going to come up to upper dog. Letting the top of your feet fall to the floor. Raising up. 
the upper body. Try to keep the shoulders not in the ears, away from the ears, and looking forward. Now from here, we're going to come back to downward dog. Raising up your hips and adjusting your feet. Placing the heels back to the floor, glutes up to downward dog. Walking your feet back up to your hands. Rolling back, one vertebrae at a time. Getting that breath in. Warming the body up, bringing your hands back to prayer. Inhale, arms up. Mountain pose, hips forward, lean back slightly. And release, swan fold forward. Getting both knees, step back into plank. Lower the body down. Rolling up, upper dog. Hips and glutes are coming up to downward dog. Adjusting the feet. Heels back to the floor. You breathe in, maybe a little heavier. You may be getting a little warm through the body. That's perfectly great. Walk your feet up to your hands. Rolling up, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale with a prayer. Inhale, back up. So mountain pose, hips forward, leaning back, and release one fold forward. Maybe both knees, step back into plank. Lower the body down. Rolling up, upper dog. Hips and glutes are coming up to downward dog. Good job. We're going to walk our feet back up to our hands. Once you bend both knees, we're going to step the left foot back. Your right foot is in front. Left foot back. We're going to come into a lunge. Want you to raise your upper body and arms up. So you're in a lunge position, right knee bent, left leg straight, and you're on that back left toe. We're going to release our arms behind us, clasping our hands, extend those arms back. Keeping our feet, legs where they are. We're going to release our hands up, back to the sky. Think about a V. Arms are out wide. And I want you to lift your head up. Feet and legs, stay where they are. Drop your hands down to the floor. So your left hand stays to the mat. Right arm coming up to the sky. So a little twist. You're doing good. Keep working. Drop your right hand down to the floor. Drop your right foot back. Make your left to plank. Lower the body down. Rolling up. Upper dog. Hips and glutes are coming up. To the upper dog. We have the other side to do. We're going to walk our feet up to our hands. Bending both knees. Step your right foot back. Left foot stays in front, right foot back. Upper body. Arms coming up. So you're in that lunge position, making sure your front left knee does not come past. Your front left toes. Good 
We're going to keep our feet legs where they are. Release those arms behind us. Clasp your hands. Press them back. So if you feel that front left knee is too far in front of your left toes, you need to open up your stance a little bit more. You need to take your right foot back a little bit more. Releasing the hands. Keep your feet and legs where they are. Make that V with your arms and raise your head up. Feet and legs stay where they are. Drop your hands down to the floor. Right hand stays to the mat. Left arm comes up to the side. Drop your left hand down to the floor. Now we're going to walk to the front. So you're going to walk to the front, facing the front. And I want your feet parallel or blocked to the side. Your hands are down to the floor. I want you to raise your head up, looking out in front of you. Now you're going to relax your head. Relax and think about your hips. I want you to bend from your hips, hanging forward, feeling a stretch in the back of those legs. Maybe some of you inner thighs as well. Relax the shoulders. Relax the neck. And keep breathing. You're going to raise your head back up. Bring your hands flat to the floor. Head back up. And we're going to bend the right knee, walking your hands toward that right foot. Keeping the left foot locked to the side, deepening the stretch in that left inner thigh. We're going to come back, straighten that right leg. Walk your hands toward the left, keeping the right leg straight, bending the left knee, head up, and feel that stretch in that right inner thigh. We're gonna come back to the center, and hands back to the center. Now you might need to walk your legs in just slightly so that you can have a little bit of balance because we're going to bring our upper body up onto your hands to your hips. And then coming up slowly all the way up. So now we're in the center. Left foot is turned, walk to the side. I want you to open up that right toe to the right foot and toe is swinging out in front. We're going to raise up our arms parallel to the floor. We're going to bend the right knee, starting right here. Right knee is bent. And again, making sure that front right knee does not come past your toes. Bring the left hand to the left leg. Right arm up. Keeping the right knee bent, left leg straight. We're going to come down the wall. I want you to think about your shoulder blades to a wall. Slide down the wall. Bring your right elbow to your right thigh. Left arm up. Keeping the feet. Legs where they are. Shoulder blades back to the wall. Sliding up the wall, bringing your left hand to your left leg, right arm back up. Keep that right knee bent. And shoulder blades back to the wall. We're going to slide down that wall a little further this time. 
bringing your right hand to your right shin, ankle, foot, or four, or if you have a block, you can have a block there, left arm, straight up. Feet and legs stay where they are, right knee bent, left leg straight. And we're going to come back up to the center. Right leg is knit, but now let's straighten it. So now both legs are straight. We're going to go into triangle poses. Left hand to the left leg, right arm up. Both legs are straight. Think about that wall behind you. Shoulder blades to the wall. We're going to slide down that wall. Reach out, forward, and coming down to triangle pose. Both legs are straight. So I want you to think about um, an airplane. Your arms are going to be the, the wings of an airplane. We're going to reverse this triangle. So the arms stay open wide. You're going to turn as if you're an airplane, bringing your left hand to your right foot and right arm up to reverse triangle. And drop your right hand down. Walk back to the front. Turn that right foot. Walk it to the side. Just like before, we're going to sink down from those hips. And sink down, dropping your head, chest to the floor. Get that breath. And hands to the floor, raising your head up. You need to walk your feet in a little bit. We're going to bring our hands to our hips. And we're going to start raising the upper body up. Inhale, arms up right here. And exhale. We're going to do the same thing, opposite side, arms back parallel to the floor. Turn that left toe. Pointing forward. Right foot is turned, block to the side. We're going to bend that left knee. And bring the right hand to the right leg, left arm up. Feel the wall to your back. Slide down that wall. Bring the left elbow. To the left thigh, right arm up. Come back up the wall, bring the right hand to the right leg, left arm up, keeping the left knee bent. And slide all the way down that wall. Bring the left hand all the way down a little further past the thigh, reaching for your ankle, the shin, the top of the foot, your block, the floor, whatever level you like here. And we're going to come back up to the center. So now I want you to straighten out that left leg. So now both legs staying straight, going into triangle poses. Right hand to the right leg, left arm up. Do 
feel the shoulder blades hitting the wall. We're gonna slide down that wall. Really reach out with the left arm coming in to triangle. Right arm up. We're gonna be like an airplane, arms are the wings of an airplane. Turning through the center, bringing our right hand to our left foot and left arm up. And drop your left hand down. We're going to turn back to the center, bring the left foot, toes forward, walking those feet, dropping your head back to the center. Relax here, get your breath, sink those hips, or sink the shoulders down to the floor, head to the floor, relax through the spine. And then release, bringing your head up. And I want you to walk your feet in to down fold. Now we're going to bend both knees. Head up, upper body. Arms coming into a chair. Press those glutes back. Stomach is in. Arms raise high to the sky. And release one fold forward. I want you to walk those legs back into a plank. Core is tight into a plank. Lowering the body down. Rolling up, upper dog. Hips and glutes are coming up to downward dog. We're going to do a one legged down dog. Left foot stays to the mat, right leg comes up to the sky. Let your head hang between those arms. Look to your left knee with those eyes. Keep holding, keep breathing. And release. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Bend your knees, bring your head, arms up into the chair. Sink those hips down. Bring your hands to prayer, palms together, elbows out wide. We're going to do a prayer twist. Bring your left elbow to your right knee, right elbow for the sky. Release, come back to the center. Release those arms up. And down. Inhale, arms back up. Mountain pose at the top. And release, swan fold forward. Walk those hands back out to downward dog. One leg at down dog. Right foot stays to your back. Left leg up to the side. And again, 
Relax to the head, to the neck. Letting my head hang between those arms. Really extend, lift up that left leg high to the top. Keep holding, keep breathing. And release, drawing the left foot down. Walk your hands back to your feet, bending your knees, head up, arms up, back in the chair. Bring those hands to prayer, palms together, elbows out by. We're gonna do a prayer twist, right elbow to your left knee, and to um, chair pose. Chair twist. And release back to the center. Arms coming all the way up. And release down. Inhale, arms back up. Mountain pose at the top. And release, long hold. I want you to think about and down fold. I want you to lift your toes up, pressing your heels into the mat. Now we're going to drop our toes down, lifting our heels up and the balls of your feet are coming up off the or your heels are coming off the mat, the balls of your feet to the floor. Drop your heels, raise your toes. Drop your toes and raise your heels. And drop your heels. Rolling up, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, arms to the top. Exhale, arms down. Get that breath. Feel that blood flow the opposite way. Get your bearings. And exhale. We're going to do some balance and poses. Right foot stays to the mat. Your hands to your hips. And I want you to take your left toes off to the side. And I want you to find a spot on the floor in front of you, something in front of you. I want you to focus on that spot. I want you to Clear your mind, all your thoughts. And we're going to balance and ground that right foot into the floor. That, that firm foundation, bringing the left foot in to the right leg. So your left knee is off to the side. You can bring that left foot in toward the ankle. You can go toward the shin. You can go above the knee. Whatever level you like. Bring your hands to prayer, palms together, elbows out wide, stomach is in. Make sure you're breathing. We're going to inhale and bring those arms all the way up to a full tree. Exhale and hold. Keep breathing. We're going to release those hands back to prayer. Drop those arms down. We're going to take this left foot back. Arms coming forward. Left legs coming back. Arm and legs parallel toward the floor as much as you can. Reaching out. And then release down. Good job. Shake out that leg. Shake it out, both legs. Same thing, 
to the opposite side. Left foot now ground into the floor. Right foot to the side. We're gonna bring that right foot in to the tree, making sure the right knee is pushed out to the side. Your level, right foot, the ankle, chin, knee, bring your hands to prayer. Inhale, start raising those arms up to the full tree. And releasing, bringing those hands back to prayer. Release those arms down. Now release, bringing the right foot back, reaching those arms in front. And release all the way down. Good job. Check out those legs. Check out those arms. We're going to come to the mat and have a seat. So I want your knees bent, hands to your knees, sitting up nice and tall. And I want you to just sit here, relax your shoulders, get your breath. And then we're going to start coming back to our back. I want you to take your time, arms out in front, and slowly lowering down. And then bring those arms over your head. Knees are bent, feet flat to the floor. Arms over your head. Now we're going to walk our legs all the way out. Arms over your head, legs completely extended. You're going to feel that your lower back is not touching the floor here. Now I want you to bring both knees into the chest. Hug those knees tight into the chest. Raise your head up and squeeze like a ball. Relax your head back down. Open up those legs slightly. We're going to bring the heels up for the stop. Hands to the arches of your feet for happy baby. Knees are bent. Your hands come from the inside of your knees up to the arches of your feet for happy baby. Stay in here. Relax through the back, the lower back, your hips. You can stay right here or if you want to, you can roll side to side. You can also Try rolling forward and back on your spine. Or you can fully extend your legs. And keeping your legs straight, you can roll side to side or forward and back. Your stretch, your body. Your option. Now we're going to release. Release your feet. Extend your legs up for the side. Drop your arms out by your side. So we're going to point and flex our feet. We're going to rotate your ankles one way. Rotate the opposite way. And then bend your knees, place your feet flat to the floor. Arms are down by your sides. Your knees are hip-width apart. We're going to 
come to a bridge. We're going to first start with squeezing our glutes, lift the tailbone up, and then slowly bring in your hips higher up toward the sky, keeping the back of your neck, keeping the top of your shoulders, the head nice and straight, looking toward the sky. Or bridge and hold. Keep holding, keep breathing. Now we're going to lower down, but not too fast. I want you to think about one vertebrae at a time. Coming down to the mat, letting your tailbone, your glutes be the last thing that hits the floor. We're going to take our legs, extend them back out wide, and I want you to bring your arms over your head. So I want you to think about making an X on the floor. Your legs are open, your arms are open. So you have an X right on the floor. We're going to raise our right arm. Left leg up, touching the toe, and then back down. Left arm, right leg up, and lowering down. We're going to do a few here. Lifting and lowering. Raising up and down. A few more. Keep breathing. Keep going. And last few. One more. And release. Want you to roll over to your stomach. Roll over to your stomach. Want your head up, elbows to the floor, palms, hands to the floor, head up, looking out in front of you. Bring it to the arms, lifting up for level two. You can stay on those elbows for level one, level two, raising up, extending those arms. Raising up a little higher. Now we're going to relax. Bring in the chest, back to the floor. Reach those arms out in front. Head, natural, in, in the center, neutral. We're going to raise the right arm, left leg up. We're going to release. And the left arm, right leg up. Keeping the hip to the floor. Release and switch. Right arm, left leg up. Release and switch. Left arm, right leg up. And release and relax. Turn your head one way. Relax to your stomach. Relax your neck. Turn your head and lift the other side and turn and drop your head down, relax your neck. And release. Come back to the center. We're going to take our left hand back to reach your left foot. Your level one stays here. Level two, grabbing both at the same time. Level one, you're going to alternate right and left. Just stretching, feel that stretch in the front of your legs. Level two, both of them at the same time. Right hand, grab your feet. Level three, you're going to raise up to a boat, lifting up the thighs. Bring the upper body up. Good. 
and then release. Let's lay back to our backs. Flip over. Knees are bent, stomach, hands to your stomach. Down to relax, letting your hips, shoulders fall into the floor. You work nice and hard. This is your time, your moment. Relax to the body. I want you to take the bottom of your feet together, knees out wide, relax to the hips, and open up those arms. Like a butterfly, feet are together, knees open wide, relax to the hips, relax to the arms. We're going to stretch out those legs all the way out, wiggle, shake them out, shake them out, moving through your shoulders, whatever you can feel is a comfortable spot, relaxing your feet, your hips, your shoulders, your neck, your face, fall into the floor. Letting that wave of relaxation move through the entire body, relaxing through the feet, through the shins, the calves, letting the hips, the glutes, the thighs melt away into the floor, relaxing all the internal organs, relaxing the stomach, the shoulders, the chest. Throughout your arms, those biceps, the triceps, down into the forearms, the wrists, and the hands. You're in corpse position. Your time to clear your mind. We're slowly coming back into awareness. Just kind of moving through the body. I want you to roll over to your left side to feet a light position. Take a deep cleansing breath in. And then exhale. We're going to come all the way up to sitting position. Where we started, hands to those knees, they get nice and tall. We're going to look back to the right, dropping that right ear to the right shoulder. Your neck should feel not so tight. Roll your head to the center, bringing your chin down to your chest. Coming up center, chin parallel to the floor. Now turn with left, dropping the left ear to the left shoulder. Roll your head in the center, bringing your chin down to your chest, and then coming all the way up. And inhale, arms up right here, and then exhale. One more for a good night and a great evening. And thank you so much for joining me today, Yoga with Jennifer. Y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you all. Great audio.